I'm Kat. Hello, I'm Kate. <laughs> and this is my guest. She's not really my guest. Well, she is my guest. She's actually going to be doing um, some clearing for us. So we're going to co-create this amazing group healing. Oh, this is Haley. Did I say that? I did. <laughs> so Haley is um, Body Code certified. She's also one of the first or second between you and Tracy, easy entity release practitioners. <laughs> uh, so she's just really, really tuned in, turned on. So we're going to do this amazing clearing for you. So Haley is, uh, so we're in the seven days of healing and the theme for the week is narcissism. That's one of the themes. Um, so there's a lot of um, narcissism, empathic codependent relationships going on that's actually beyond uh the individual wouldn't you say Haley? it's like a, a lot of collective stuff going on with that you yeah know? yeah so Haley's gonna kind of do, do the undercurrent and clear a lot of this do you want to add to that um well i have found that after i've worked on so many people within the group there's this underlying thing that we all collectively have like come through and came to this certain point in our life we're all in this group together and it all kind of is based on this narcissistic codependent thing which it goes a lot deeper than that but yeah yeah so Haley is gonna um offer to clear that for us take my gum out <laughs> <laughs> and um I'm going to clear around our ego, which is another <laughs> thing that Haley can speak to, right? <laughs> so, and, and help me all, right? So the ego is that part of us that it relates to our personal power and it can really sabotage us. Um, it will do anything to not be in pain and to stay safe. So that is, uh, that doesn't really help us when we're trying to do energy healing. It will tell us that stuff is there that's not. It will tell us that we've cleared everything when we haven't. It will just kind of give us this massive runaround, um, that ego part of us, just to stay out of pain. And, um, and then the ego can turn to addictions, like these things that it does, just avoidance tactics, right? Addiction. Right. Yeah, blaming. And game, the, the mind game that we play with everybody else. Exactly, right, yeah. And then, then we get into blame with everyone else and we pull everyone in and they're the bad guys and we're like, yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, we're going to work on that. So, yeah, should I set, every, should I set us up? Um, yeah, do you want me to explain just a little bit of... Yeah, as much as you... Okay, so I feel, uh, well, I, what I've discovered is, like, we all come from this, like, Atlantis-type um, background, right? Um, Lumeria. And uh, so what my guides told me is we have our spirit, but our spirit is, like, past life and generational, but it's coded in our DNA. So our DNA tells is the physical form of spirit, and that's our story. So, and what Kate was talking about last week is rewriting our story. So rewriting DNA. So I found all this stuff that I've been clearing from DNA that has to do with narcissism and codependency. And it, it's really, really big. It's almost like these two warring nations is what it would be. And so then we get married to someone who has these other like reptilian stuff, right? And then we are these warring, there's just a war. And inside of our mind, sometimes we have both of those in our DNA. And, and inside of our mind is a war. And inside of our blood is a war. And, inside, and our body's like, Ah, and so it's just clearing this out so we're just all one and another thing that i've discovered is karma there's like i don't even have my own karma it's everybody else's karma and i got everybody <laughs> else's karma running through me and you got it running through you and i feel like i own your karma and you feel like you own my karma and yeah. so really it's just clearing it out and becoming sovereign becoming super super sovereign and that's why we've all come to this group that's why all you know it's because we want to be sovereign we want to be cleansed of all this so right my two bits yeah, so Haley's doing the huge, that huge karmic um, DNA genetic component, like the undercurrent of this, 
and but then the same dynamics are going on within us with the ego right so i right. yeah so i'm going to do that personal piece for for the group the massive amounts <laughs> yeah as big as the story gets i mean you get a land all it is is just like this a mind you know it's what's in our mind yeah oh, okay, that's just a story that says okay this is what's going on within me so it can be expansive or just teeny tiny <laughs> yeah yeah but it's 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 on some level we're all we're all running this yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> okay so um yeah so i'm gonna set us up and then we'll go from now um okay so we're already let's just uh making sure that we are all still in this in our lovely container for healing this angelic space however you want to imagine that envision that for the group so i actually put us in one and then i put everyone in their own little individual pod <laughs> so then we're not influenced by other people so much right. okay um so we're just connecting into the earth to the core of the earth to the crystalline uh, center of the earth making a connection And then we're connecting all the way up to source consciousness, 12th dimensional consciousness. We can imagine there's a string or a thread coming out of our crown chakra. And just follow that string as high, as far up as you can go. And even when you can't, you think you can't go any further, just really check in to make sure that you're actually there. Mm. You don't get blocked. <laughs> And we're also asking for a heart expansion, heart connection, heart opening. With the higher heart, the wisdom of the higher heart. And I'm asking for uh, the highest and best, uh, the highest and best guidance and wisdom. Uh, to be channeled for myself and for Haley and for everyone that's watching or that will watch for their own individual light bulb moments, aha moments. Okay. So do you need anything to... I'm just getting like all these downloads of everything. <laughs> yeah. So how do you, do you want to just work or do you, how do you want to work, Haley? Do you just want to do oh. what you see and then? Yeah, I think I'll just go with whatever I'm being told to release. Yeah. I saw like everybody like in imprisoned, there's this imprisonment and there's this dark magician that's over us, right? And then the black magic and there was abuse. Um, a lot of it was sexual. And so that's kind of what I just kept seeing. So I'll just start with that. Okay, so Haley's and gonna be doing- I'm sorry everybody that I'm like spastic when I release. <laughs> yeah. Something really important that I wanna say is that everything, we are not victims in any of this. I have to, this is my personal belief. That right. created everything, even everything that Haley is talking about right now, we created right. so that we can- Absolutely, so no victim in this, right? So this is just unraveling this so we can become sovereign and we become right. um, autonomous. Okay. So that's and in I'm my saying. journey, the more I realized I was a perpetrator, the right. freer I became, you know, we, we play both roles and we're just trying to find that middle. Right. Right. So we, I feel like we romanticize our past lives. Right. So we, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have been the victim. We've been the perpetrator. We have been everything. We have been the everything. Absolutely. Right. And that's something to look at. 
maybe even now where are you on another timeline that you are that dark magician right because that is affecting this timeline right okay cool <laughs> so taylor's gonna do our thing and please obviously if you want to share please just share and interrupt that's cool so i'm okay <laughs> i'm gonna um obviously i'm gonna be feeling what you're doing you're gonna be feeling what i'm doing so <laughs> okay what, I'm gonna try and make this work. Okay, it will work. It's working. Mm, yeah, okay. it's already working. It's going. Yeah, okay. so I'm gonna tune into the um, the ego. So I'm gonna get a score for the group. Um, the ego aspect of consciousness, happiness. Okay, like a it's a two. Okay, so on a scale, so scale of zero to 10. So we want it to be a 10. Okay, so lots of helplessness. So we're just gonna clear that for the group. There's a reason why. So this is like help, personal helplessness, then Haley's probably clearing that like, you know, collectively, genetically. Okay. Right, I just so, see like everybody like has each other's karma. And like most of our problems really aren't even ours. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they are just folding all the timelines maybe once right. they're yeah so we're going to cleanse clean release um helplessness hopelessness from our ego aspects in this lifetime for the group Okay, so that's just clearing. Um, and anywhere that we have not felt loved. Okay, um, we're releasing this also. Releasing all vows and contracts. Yeah, okay, so any vows and contracts in and asking that karma be restored right yeah so dave's talking about physically moving his body so yeah so get the energy in your body moving <laughs> that's why Haley and i a lot of times we're moving <laughs> <laughs> no. it's like, yeah that energy wants to move like even just it does rubbing your body like this and flicking flicking energy off is really awesome shaking your legs out shaking your hands your arms whatever you need to do okay so i'm just seeing more helplessness okay so anywhere that we believed that we are helpless okay so we're going to cleanse clear and release all these beliefs that we are helpless and that we are not powerful and these are going to cleanse clear and release now okay because this really, really big soul loss. So I'm just going to go ahead and like, I feel like I need to wind on this one, like wind in, like do soul retrieval. We're just going to like wind it in yeah. okay. um, for everyone. And any part of the soul that doesn't belong to us or like fake or whatever it may be. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I can just do that. So any anyone whose soul has been haunted, um, yeah, we're gonna claim our sovereignty now around that. So if you're watching, then just please say that I claim my sovereignty now. Um, if you know, yeah, there you go. So, um, so you null, null and void any contracts, agreements, promises around soul harvesting all time and space so you want to just repeat that if that right ah uh, yeah <laughs> somebody just got their soul back woo ah. yeah there we go mm, so cool okay okay and there's like just entities around this so just like yeah okay. crystalline white what we what do we do like uh just the I, the, the bright okay. light just psh, yeah, like there's the hands that are grabbing at the soul pieces, and we're just bringing them back and just no. Yeah, mind. we're just blasting to us. Ultraviolet light, we can do that. Ultraviolet. Yeah. 
and like just cutting it off all those hands that are holding on to it yeah and just inviting anything that no longer serves you just to let go dissolve dismantle and just see yourself stepping forward just stepping forward into the new either stepping up stepping forward in your mind's eye just see yourself taking steps forward or up And just more helplessness. So we're clearing all the helplessness. I have to lose a jacket. <laughs> what? I have to lose my jacket. I'm getting warm. <laughs> uh, yeah, <me> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So just clearing. So part of this is like, okay, so we're going back to that DNA um, entities where um, this is what I discovered with my husband and I. I was super attracted to him because um, we had all these past life vows and stuff, but man did we have like a war going on right in our dna so there's certain people that we kind of don't get along with and there's certain people we really get along with and like it's these entities that are that are warring did i say that right yeah like yeah. i feel like i have to win with these certain people and it's just mental that we feel like we have to win with something and then some people we don't care if we win with right it's right. just these games that we play and you can kind of get a narcissist anywhere around the world and they kind of play the exact same game right it, you know it's like this role step one step two step three and so it's these entities that are playing this game within them right because they have these contracts or like soul loss to them like hey help me play this game so that's kind of how i see it yeah is that is that kind of what it sort of is right yeah yeah i see that and so it's just yeah. releasing that story from your dna right yeah so just, okay so clearing. let's upgrade so you want to upgrade our dna upgrade to 144 strand DNA should we do that so let's just invite that and invite you know those people that we're not getting along with in this lifetime to like we're acid in their base to so just throw water on it right so we can do a, um, we can ask if anything from the monads or our oversoul groups uh, also be purified, cleansed, any up-leveling that um, anyone in an oversoul group needs. This just a small group of people, these souls, soul fragments, rays. <sighs> so that they can also rise, ascend with us. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to wait. Another void statement. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, I don't know if I can see comments. Yeah, they're kind of on the right, the left for me. Comments. Yeah. Okay, so tune in, can we do something else? Yeah, um, around DNA. Okay, so around DNA. Okay, so we need to invite that to happen again. Yeah, okay, so we're just inviting up an upgrade of DNA. Okay, so all just inviting more strands of DNA to come online to be activated and anything that's not a congruent match to that um, dissolves, dismantles. So the DNA strands uh, correlate with the dimensions. So if you're living in thir third dimensional consciousness, you've got three strands activated. If you're in fourth, which is the bridge to three and five, you've got four. If you're living primarily in fifth dimensional uh, reality, you've got five strands activated and so on. Okay, so we're just inviting everything that's possible to come online for everyone watching right now. Um, but that activates anything that's not congruent, dissolves, dismantles. This is good. That's really good, no? 
Okay, um, the God Source level of consciousness. Reptilians masquerading there. Okay. So, yeah, so false gods, false idols. Yeah. Mm. Individual. No, so that's for the collective. So, okay, mm. so looking for a clearing of this. Okay, and to uh, recode our DNA, uh, to only know ourselves, and we are pure source. That's who we are. So, like, yeah. <laughs> What's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Janet says false white lights, only false white light, false timelines, false templates. Um, so we could have even come in, been born with. Uh, so we're asking those to dissolve, dismantle. Okay. Someone ask a personal, okay. Um, so let me just ask. Yeah, so how about having all the traits, uh, the narcissistic traits, be transformed? Right. So, like, like projection, triangulation, goalpost moving, like all of those, right? Yeah. Isolation. Yeah. Okay, so we're initiating between Haley and I. We're going to initiate that. Um, initiating a clearing of this and anywhere that we've um, absorbed or shared this with anyone also. We're asking this to dissolve, dismantle. <laughs> okay, there you go. So if you've been a victim of this, releasing in me. <laughs> yeah, if you've been a victim of this. Oh no, I've been a perpetrator too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, either way, you're getting a clearing from this if you've been a victim or if you are this. And we've all been both. We just have. There are times. Right. Where, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, it's dissolving, dismantling. Whew. Brands. Okay, so any fear, any fear programs that are running? Um, because that's basically so much of it too. Um, so any mass mind fear programs, any fear that's gen been generated, that's, well, <laughs> that's funny because all fear is not necessary, but um, <laughs> so fear that has been constructed for us in this matrix, any global matrix, um, any configuration that we're in or on, right? Have fear overlaid. Okay, that's gonna dissolve, dismantle. Right, and I just keeping like seeing like false, like not just the matrix, but false, like realities and false relationships and false, like parenting, false, you know, everything, like. Uh, that, that go into this game, this narcissistic codependent game, right? Right. So just like grounding down and just being, you know, one. Yeah. Have, through having these boundaries. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Having these boundaries with others and with ourselves, you know, not having to prove, not having to control, but just being, you know, us in our journey. Yeah. Okay. So whatever, whatever that is, we'll put you <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So everything that Haley just said, oh. we're initiating a clearing of this. Oh. 
using the game false belief systems yeah and just i mean the, that's that's great because in the game we are the game we are the player of the game we're controlling the game right er oh and it, yeah like angela just said explaining and defending like oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we are everything. So just as well, coming into awareness that no one's doing this to us is right. a higher level. Yeah, so. I had a cold this last week and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to explain to everyone that mine's sinusy and I'm gonna have to explain to everyone, you know, but then you, but then you get real and you're like, that's silly. I don't have to explain anything. I'm not being judged. No, it's only my judgment coming back. Right. I go of my judgment. So then I just don't have to worry about it, right? Right. And then no one else does. I mean, the, then the projection's gone, right? <laughs> right? It's like you're not bringing that in and then you're not feeding that out. The projector is kind of off. Right. So we'll just release all that judgment. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. So everyone, anywhere that we judge, the mm. level. Mm. Let's see that's kind of clear based. It's all of this mental. Oof. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay. Need to wait. Okay, we're just waiting for that. Yeah, something else, Haley, around the narcissism and being told that you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, vampires, demonic, like being stuck to us. And okay. us. Is that it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, let me see if I can figure out how to say it. Um, uh, sometimes we do it because it's sexually transmitted, but sometimes like it's our own children. Sometimes it's, um, you know, other people. We're not connected like cutting those cords and letting them connect to God's source. So now they're not connected to us because we're on this spiritual journey, right? Right. What it is. right. Yeah. That's so, okay. yeah. Do I need to say something about that? You know, one second. Yeah. So oftentimes with the entity stuff, Okay, so I, if this is freaking anyone out who's watching this, please, I hope it doesn't have to. <laughs> um, so yeah, so if a person, you know those people that just want to leech off you, right? They just kind of want to suck your blood. <laughs> you know, it's like they want to suck your life force out of, it, out of you, right? So if they don't take care of it, then they're going to grab then an entity like that, like what we call a vampire against you, is going to gravitate towards them. Or if we're in relationship with a person that does that, we're going to absorb that kind of energy from them. And, and it's like when that entity comes, it's just showing us that we've, you know, it's gone way beyond the personal and it's kind of, it, we really need a wake up call. Right. So right. the comes that hopefully we can, we can have that wake up call or the empath or the codependent person is like, wow, I'm just, my life force is just completely gone <laughs> from hanging out. Right. With and the, and it's almost like that Jesus complex where you feel it's your job to save everyone. Right. And That's clear that. Yeah. <sighs> because the only person that we're responsible for is us. Oh, right. And that is not selfish. That is absolutely not. I'm going to go to a deeper level on everybody else's karma. It's like almost, we almost feel responsible for it. Yeah. Cause if we all just took care of our own stuff, <laughs> we'd be way much make way healthier. And now that we're connected to personal power, you know, we can see that path and we're not the vampires anymore. Right. <laughs> right. Right. So we've been working with personal power for the group. Yeah. ESA, um, 
It's like a five. Okay, so that's gone up quite a bit. So anything else? Um, the stopping people taking that another step into their personal power, five steps into their personal power. Um, we're asking that to be seen for them. And anything that I can- Yeah, believing in yourself. Like just being like, I have what it takes. Like if anybody knows me, I, I am just a normal human. I don't, it was right. like there once upon a time, you know? Yeah, I mean, and I just kept working on myself and yeah, it's free will. We have free will, and right, you know, in the depths of tremendous suffering, we still have a choice. And I know that <laughs> I know that may seem like wrong or strange, but we do, we always have a choice for everything. <laughs> But we give that away. We give our power away, and then it does. It does look like every every corner you turn, it looks like there's no choice, right? Because we've blocked that off for ourselves. We've made right. it. We put ourselves in this tiny little box. Right. Way out. What? Right. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm just reading some here. Okay, Denise. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so you got that. So you're responsible. So we did that, right? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're just I'm just hearing we're letting all that happen. If anyone has questions, that would be awesome. Okay, I'm seeing a couple of things that are kind of very similar about what yeah. about our children? I feel responsible for them and I feel responsible for everyone. Always think I need to fix everything. Yeah. Um, I guess it's like the sand in the hand, you know, really trusting. Like, don't get me wrong, doing sessions on our kids is great, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think um, the people closest to us are really out. They have so much to teach us, right? Our kids. Right. Yeah. They're such a they're such a mirror. And even their symptoms are usually our symptoms. Right. Or you're going on a month long vacation with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> with all of my siblings. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do it on purpose. It's beautiful because you see those mirrors and you see those aspects of yourself where you're like, ooh, yeah. Then you're in the other room. Okay, I can work this yeah. out, you know. But it's beautiful. Right, yeah. Like, I'm sick of this, let's transcend this now because it's just, it's too much. Like, what in me is causing them to do that, right? Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, and and again, you can't control what other people will do, will do, but you can control how you react to that. And you'll know, you'll be like, oh yeah, he's doing that thing, but look at me, I'm so cool, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the biggest thing that I tell my two kids is everything that you put out into the world goes around the world and it comes back to you. It's not instant, right? And yeah. it's this little boop, 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 boop chain, you know? If you want to put positive out, if you want to put loving yourself out, if you want to, you know, everything, and eventually it comes back and hits you in the tail. So if you're always nagging, you're always, you know, and so putting that out there, you know, trying to express that in my kids, but expressing it myself too, right? Yeah, 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 because they're absorbing everything from us, right? They're looking right. for us to mirror how to be. So, a yeah, so feeling responsible for everybody. So going back to that, what could be cleared? Yeah, so I, I get personal power around that as well. And boundaries, yeah. Yeah, okay, boundaries are... Yeah, so boundaries are interesting because you, in the beginning, you need boundaries, and then when you have them, you just work them and drop them. Out. <laughs> right. <laughs> no yeah, because you realize, oh, well, yeah, I don't really need them because I can stand up for myself. But when you can't, right. you put something in place that says, okay, this is who I am, this is where I stand. And, and no, you don't get to come in here, right, and do your thing on me. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I think, uh, you know, like divinely feminine is sometimes I try to control my kids so much with my head 
and I need to just be like a house. I feel like when the hurricanes come through, they'll open their front and their back door and the wind will go through and the houses won't blow away, right? So just like feminine, yep. open up and letting my kids be who they are because I think I try to control who they are too much sometimes, especially as like as a homeschool mom, you know, I want them to be awesome. So then it reflects on me that I'm awesome, you know? <laughs> and so, yeah. uh, like responsibility for self, but in that comes like letting them, letting them have their personal power and me not feeling responsible for some things that are just up to them. Right. Right. That's beautiful. Yeah. Does that make sense at all? Is that? Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Yeah. The control thing is a big thing. Let's, let's clear control. Okay. Okay. Uh, need to and, control. And with spouses too. Yeah. Okay. So within our group, uh, anyone who's watching this on the replay, um, we can just cleanse, clear, release, um, all need to control anything. Other people, ourselves, and perfectionism. That works well with control. Yeah. Yeah. So clearing the need to be perfect and everything that's holding that up, any emotional energies that are holding that perfection up that need to control. <laughs> right. It just came to me what it is. It's trying to fix in them where I had mistakes along the way. That's what it right. is. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's always going to be that, always. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so let's <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just going to code um, pure love. Back our Christ in heart. We can even imprint our Christ consciousness on us. You can just imagine that, imprinting Christ consciousness and that is going to burn off a ton of stuff to, just inviting that to happen hmm. that's so beautiful i've been doing that right that's great yeah i've been doing that every morning in activation actually because so much can't hang around when you Activate that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Denise has chills. Okay. So people are agreeing. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you like that. Uh, mm. Yeah. Okay. Someone said lack of control. Um, yeah. Yeah, lack of control is interesting because that's really a need to be in control. Is that right? What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I think we just have to go back to the point of origin. Where yeah. You felt like you didn't control, and so then it kind of builds throughout your life trying to cult control other things. Yeah, so going back to the creation point, conception point right. of the a trauma or whatever it is. Which for a group, I mean, uh, yeah, for a group healing, that'd work just for everyone to. Yeah, and that's something um, people can do individually, is that good? Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a really long thing. It can just be in a second. You could rewrite that. I mean, you could just re-encode it with pure love and that's, that's it. Right. Yeah, it doesn't. I and mean, a lot of control actually is like somebody else trying to control us. So we just turn that back and send it back with love. Yeah, I mean, you can spend an hour rewriting everything, and there's value. <laughs> right? If you don't want to, just re encode pure love. Yeah. Just Imprint Christ consciousness. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My people are like, that's a lot. <laughs> guys... well, I, I know. Okay. okay, I'm feeling we need to like go on trauma bonds for just a second. Yeah, okay. Oh. Trauma bonds. I think a lot of us, uh, I mean, we live off of them, right? There's just, especially in codependent narcissistic relationships, yes. there's just you have to trauma bonds. So I just clearing trauma bonds on timelines, right? Okay. 
that will be something more. Yeah. Do we need to do anything else? No. So, okay. So, yeah. So we're initiating that and also inviting people to pull out of that dynamic again, because that's free will. So initiating, activating free will. And I'm getting in the thousand beliefs book, deep, deep, deep sadness, heart chakra. So yeah. Which makes Okay, so that goes back like eons. Okay, so all right. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning of time, even before time, and clearing um, sadness, even before it was sadness. So whatever that energy is, that mm. now called sadness. <laughs> right, in the DNA or the in the neural nets too. Like there's just patterns yeah. of sadness. Yes. Yeah. Genetically, also any neural pathways we can do right now. So you can just imagine like with scissors or garden shears, it was like snipping all this in your brain. Right. So all the neural pathways that no longer um, serve us, we're just cutting those out. We can do that just in the brain. You can do it down the spine, to the gut. You could do it in the gut, um, which is huge. Can do it around the heart. <sighs> Feel tapping on the heart is activating. Yeah, so you can tap on the thymus if you to release to assist in releasing. Okay, shake out the body. Now would be a good time just to shake everything out. Give the body a little rub. <laughs> Energetically, <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of all that. The breath is fabulous. We use to release emotions. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and any just for asking for all systems to stabilize. Uh, neutralize. I always do this to balance myself. Yeah. Is that like a pendulum? Anyway. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, okay. just my finger. <laughs> do to do. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Yeah. I like to do that to like come into the midline. Right. Centering. Yeah. So whatever. Okay. Or just using words, just stating that's what we're doing. Asking for stabilization, anything that's resisting that, blocking that, asking that to dissolve, dismantle. Any beliefs that are blocking that, resistance, let's clear resistance to healing. And the ego will resist. So if you feel resistance, you can go check your ego consciousness, get a scale of zero to 10. It wants to be a 10, to be happy. Uh, safety is another big thing. Let's just do a general clearing around safety. Okay. I'm just responding to you then. <laughs> okay. I have to go ground for like an hour after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people might actually go outside, sit on the earth. Sit under a tree, go hug a tree. Yeah, I'm getting there. We're pretty much done. And right. Coming up. Yeah. And it's great because generally, I mean, we went to the deepest levels on this. <sighs> yeah. So you can, you know, this is great to watch on a replay and just come with different intentions. Yeah. Uh, seriously. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. And it's just amazing. Yeah, okay, so I'm just backing out of 
for myself. Does anyone have any quick questions? You know where to go. That was pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't have done that one myself, so thank you so much. Yeah, we'll have to do this again. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> okay, so we are just stabilizing, stabilizing stabilizing our group, B group. One last stabilization. Um, okay, everyone looks really good. Okay, thank you so much, Haley. I really appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. It was great. And um, yeah, I'm sure we'll talk real soon. <laughs> okay. Soon. Okay. Thank Goodbye, you. everybody. Bye. If you have questions, please post also and we'll get back to you. <laughs> thank you. Bye.